Good morning, pagan friends. It's the 2nd of September, which means that, at least in this house, fall has already started. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is my favorite time of year. Anybody that knows me knows that. September, October, November, I just, ooh, I come alive. I love doing, I love doing magical work, and I love just a celebrating this season. You know, we're out of the heat of summer, and lots of people are sun babies. I used to be, but. I love fall. I just love fall. And so I just wanted to talk a bit about how I usher in each new season because um, I have my monthly, you know, um, rituals or, or, or practices, but each new season of the wheel uh, tends to bring with it its own mood, its own attitude, its own um, signs and symbols and herbs and flowers and practices, you know, practices. So, And really, when it comes right down to it, <clears throat> the only ones that are specifically from history are the ones that match where we live, like apples in the fall where I live in mid-North America. Apples in the fall, pumpkin, squash, and so on. So that's what's on my altar and my blessings table and things like that, you know. So Basically, there's nothing written in stone. Again, see, I'm really big on that. That's why people gravitated towards the craft and so on in in the past, you know, um, six or eight decades is because of the freedom of it all. So if you feel like you want to um, celebrate the fall with a brand new spring bud, go for it. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, and it's now coming into spring instead of fall there. I Do you call it spring or do you call it? No, that's a stupid question. <laughs> of course, well, I don't know. It's not autumn there. So I guess it's your spring. Um, but, you know, there's things in season now where you are that you, you know, could use if you wanted to use them as an offering or a decoration or whatever. Uh, the craft to me, especially being a hedge witch, the craft to me is very much enmeshed in what's around me, what's going on. It's very in the moment, which I love. I love being reminded that I need to stay in the moment. Once we move past the moment, we're wasting our moments. You can't be out of the moment and still be using it. So there's so many wasted moments in a lifetime. You know, I don't want to add to that. I don't want to add to that. <clears throat> so in September, I mean, I open my calendar all the time with a, a, a page for the month uh, in my journal. <clears throat> and so on the, um, the quarters of the year, quarterly, I decide on a word that is going to motivate me. I choose a tarot card and um, either choose it or have it come up either way uh, whatever you're comfortable with and I choose an element to work with not excluding the others of course but fundamentally something I'm drawn to wind is very definitely for me air is very definitely for me a fall thing so um, I've chosen my element this season uh, for as air and my tarot card came up as the chariot, which is exactly where I'm at in my life. It's about decision making. It's about standing strong behind your principles. It's about you know n new direction and solidness on that on that that um, path. You know, there's many many f faces to the chariot, and uh, each one of them seem to be applicable for me right now at this time of this year. So, uh, and my word for the next three months is lifeline. I am my own lifeline. I've got that written through my journal. I've got it up on my, my board and so on. I am my own lifeline. And for me, that has such a profound spiritual um, undertone. It's not that I... I, I am opposed to needing other people, nothing like that. 
I don't want to need others for everything about me. I'm a grown woman. and But when it comes right down to it, down to the very nitty gritty, ultimately all we have is us. So I am my own lifeline. I will call on me when it's necessary. Of course, I, I call on friends if I need them or loved ones or whatever. But um, right now I am my own lifeline and I like that. Because I feel so good at this time in my life, I don't feel like I need any lifelines, but I know that life can change on a dime. So I will stand guard over my own life. I will be strong for my life. I will be, you know, a warrior for my life and a muse for my life. I will be all those lifelines. Last month, I, the last quarter, I don't know where my muse screwed off to but she's not in my picture <laughs> so I feel she's coming back and I feel she's coming back strong so we'll see what writing I get done over the next three months basically this is a video about saying celebrate the season the way you want to but set up some things for yourself where you know you're standing by a particular word or action deed last um, last quarter it was communication and a number of things because of what occurred through the quarter communication was the thing that got hit the hardest so it wasn't the fact that I used that word as my word it was the fact that the very best lessons I got out of this past quarter were all about communication and what I need to do to add to it or take away from it or refine it or whatever it is number of areas in my life now I'm ready to go again. I've reorganized my communications. I've reorganized how I'm going to approach certain things. And, you know, it's... It, <coughs> excuse me. It's all about connectedness. If you don't feel connected to something, then there's no creativity there. There's no growth. So this is my favorite time of year. And I'm already starting to paint fall scenes. So... I've got to jump on it, but folks, I hope you have the most amazing, blessed month of September. Make it blessed for yourself. Do what you need to do to keep your, your beliefs, your, your dreams, and your faith alive, whatever that means to you. But strive to do that because the closer we get to our our core, our energy, uh, the better we're going to work and play and love and interact and communicate. <laughs> communicate. So I hope you all have a wonderful long weekend and hopefully I'll see you soon back here. Bless be.